हाई वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ चैप्टर नंबर फाइव एसिड्स बेसिस एंड सॉल्ट एंड इन दिस चैप्टर विल बी स्टडिंग दीज टॉपिक्स दैट इज अस थे एसिड्स एंड बेसिस कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ एन एसिड और ए बेस पी एच ऑफ ए सोल्यूशन पी एच ऑफ एन एसिड एंड ए बेस एंड सॉल्ट वट एक्चुअली एसिड्स एंड बेसिस आर सम कंपाउंड सीन टू हैव एच प्लस as the basic radical in their molecules these are called acids whereas compounds that have oh minus as the acidic radical in their molecule all these compounds are bases those are any compounds which have a basic radical other than h plus and an hz radical other than oh minus are called are called salts now what are any compounds that is recalcitration is the molecule of an ionic compound has two constituents namely cation that is positive or basic basic radical and anion that is negative or acidic radical there is a force of attraction between these ions as they are positively charged and that is called the ionic bond the force of attraction between two between one positive charge on an cation and one negative charge on an anion makes one ionic bond now you can see an example of na and cl that is the sodium chloride al table salt how these two elements that is the sodium na and cl- chloride that is cl chlorine that is cn cl they contribute to form a ionic bond this the explanation lies in the electronic configuration of the atoms let us see now once again how the sodium and chlorine atoms form an a plus and cl minus here the outermost shell of the sodium and the chlorine atoms is not complete octet however the outermost shell in both the na plus and ocl minus is a complete octet an electronic configuration with the complete octet indicates the stable state for the anionic bond is formed between the oppositely charged Na plus and Cl minus, and therefore an ionic compound and Cl have very high stability is formed. Now we can see in here that an Na plus as well as Cl minus don't have the complete octet in the outermost shell, and that is how they complete their octet by forming a bond. That is the ionic bond. What is the association? The association of ionic compounds on dissolving in water and ionic compound forms an aqueous solution. Now, if you can. Do an example in your house. What you can do is you just take a salt, take a spoon of salt, and just mix that in the water. And you can see that you won't be seeing any particles of salt when you dissolve it. It completely gets dissolved. In the solid state, the positively charged ions in the ionic compound are sitting side by side. When an ionic compound begins to dissolve in water, the water molecules push themselves in between the ions of the compound and separate them. From each other, let us say, an ionic compound dissociates while forming an aqueous solution. In this figure, it is explained that how sodium chloride gets dissolved in water and a clear solution is formed. An A plus NaCl in solid state when it gets dissolved in water, it forms Na plus in aqueous state, whereas Cl minus in aqueous state. What Arrhenius theory says? Swedish scientist Arrhenius put forth a theory of acids and bases in the year 1887. This theory gives definitions of acids and bases as follows: What an acid is? An acid is a substance which, on dissolving in water, gives rise to H plus ion. H plus ion as the only cation. For example, HCl, H2SO4, H2CO3. When these Compounds get dissolved in water. What is formed will be seen. When HCl gets dissolved in the gaseous state, when it gets dissolved in water, what is formed? H plus will be Cl minus. So we get H plus ion. H2SO4 when it gets dissolved in water, we get H plus there is HSO4. So the main compound is H plus in here. Whereas even in this we got H plus. Whereas when H S O four is further dissociated, it forms H plus 
and SO4 to minus where we can this even in this we get H plus as an ion so this is the best example and this is the best way to explain what an acid is now moving forward forward with what base is base is a substance which on dissolving in water gives rise to OH minus ion as the only anion for example NaOH and CaOH2 when they give the dissolve we get Na plus and OH minus as the main cation anion so sorry it's anion whereas CaOH when it, it gets, gets dissolved even we get 2OH minus so OH minus is the main compound we want this is how the definitions of acids and base is given by Arrhenius theory. Now we'll be seeing the classification of acids and bases. What are the strong acids and weak bases? The weak, strong and weak acids, bases and alkali. Acids and bases are classified into strong and weak types of the bases on the basis of the extent to which they dissociate in the aqueous solution. What is strong acid? On dissolving in water against strong acid dissociates almost completely and the resulting aqueous solution contains mainly H plus ions and the concerned acidic radical. Now what weak acid is? On dissolving the compound, the resulting aqueous solution contains H plus ion and the concerned acidic radical in small proportion. Now what strong base is on dissolving in water, OH minus ions and the concerned basic radicals are formed with weak bases. On dissolving in water, the resulting aqueous solution contains a small proportion of OH minus ions in the concerned basic radical. So you can see the weak in weak and in, in weak bases and in, the difference between the weak base and the strong base and the weak acid and the strong acid is that K in weak ones, weak the constituent which we want we get is in small proportion. Whereas what alkali is bases which are highly soluble in water are called alkali. What is basicity and acidity? Basicity of the acid, the number of H plus ions obtainable by, by the dissociation of one molecule of an acid is called its basicity, whereas acid, acidity of bases are the numbers of OH minus ions obtainable by the dissociation of one molecule of a base is called its acidity. Now we'll be seeing what the pH solution forms. How pH solution forms? The proportion of H plus and OH minus ions divides soil into the acidic, neutral and basic types of soil. It is necessary for blood. The amount of H plus and OH minus ions that is the concentration of the anions and cations represents how acidic and basic solutions it is. Now you can see in this table. It is divided into strong acids, weak acids, neutral, weak bases, and strong bases. So, acid they contain H plus. So, definitely HCl is the most acidic compound, whereas the NaOH, that is the sodium hydroxide, is the most basic one. What are universal indicators? We know that some natural and synthetic dyes show two different colors in acidic and basic solutions. Such dyes are used as acidic base indicators in the pH scale. pH of solutions varies from 0 to 14 in accordance with the strength of the acid or base. To show these variations in pH, a universal indicator is used and a universal indicator shows different colors and different values of pH. In here you can see that the acidic compounds have been designated by the reddish colors whereas the basic compounds have been designated by the bluish and the shades of that. Now for the further part we will be studying in next video.